Coach Tim Von Stieg of the Santa Barbara Gauchos, winners tonight in the Big West Final over Cal State Fullerton. Uh, in your third try in the Big West Final, you guys uh, are able to win it. How gratifying is it for you guys to, to get this title in 2010? Uh, it, it's really gratifying. You know, it, you know, we've done a lot of things, a lot of firsts, and I, we talked to the guys about the fact that we've been in this game twice, and uh, we haven't been able to pull off this game. So, um, you know, it was, it was, uh, it, it's especially gratifying because, you know, we had an opportunity to do it at home in front of our fans. Uh, I think we were still really disappointed from last year's loss, which was here at our place, and we weren't able to celebrate on our field. So all those things put together, and, uh, you know, again, from a team that started 0-2-2 um, to now, you know, basically uh, winning a bunch of games here on, a, on the way out. Um, so we're, we're excited. We're excited that our name will pop up on Monday, and then we'll see what happens from there. Talk about the game. You guys uh, went through the first half. All of a sudden, you guys got a couple of goals within two minutes, and then it was back to two to one. And it was, you know, it was anybody's game at that point. Uh, right. uh, talk about the swing and momentum, and how you guys were able to come through that. Yeah, it's it's uh, been kind of our story. I, I thought we had a great opportunity. We went up 2-0, and we had two or three really good looks to make it. I think finish the game. You know, 3-0, 4-0. But you know that that goal they got was a huge momentum swing. Uh, instead of being 3-0, now it's 2-1. I thought it gave them a lot of life. Uh, it actually kind of you know staggered us a little bit. Uh, I thought we went back in at halftime, kind of regrouped a little bit and uh, came out. I, th I thought the key of tonight's game, though, was the fact that we were able to sub in four or five players that are very, very good players. They were fresh. Uh, I was able to bring out some guys that were tired, and I thought that, I thought that um, you know, Fullerton wore down a little bit. Uh, and, and that's not surprising given the fact that it's a real difficult schedule playing on Wednesday. It's a tough game. They had an emotional game. We had an emotional game. And now you're late in the game on Saturday. And, and I thought that Josue's goal and his sub and Noni and Nick Ryan, those were key guys that came into this game and really changed the game in the second half. You guys have the NCAA tournament coming up. You guys are the automatic qualifier. What are you hoping for? I, you know, it's obviously not in your control as far as uh, where you go and if you play here or if you play somewhere else. What are you hoping for there, and what do you think your team could do? Well, you know, it's interesting. Um, I, uh, you know, we started the season with a goal of getting a seed. Um, unfortunately, our, I thought our non-conference schedule was very good. I thought we had huge wins against Duke and UCLA. Uh, but the reality is, at least for this year, that our conference as a whole did not do that well. And as a reality, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, I think it's unlikely that we'll get a seed. Uh, but I do think that we'll get a home game. I think the NCAA would love to have us at home. Uh, and, and you never know, maybe if they take three seeds from the West, uh, I, we certainly would be that third team. Uh, but if they only go with two seeds, then, then we'll be going the long road. Um, it's the same road that we took in 2006. Uh, hopefully last year, though, I'm, I'm hoping for the draw. We don't mind going anywhere and playing anybody anywhere, but last year we just, the draw last year was really difficult because we ended up playing, you know, the Pac-10 champions, the WCC champions, the MPSF champions. Would have been, you know, I mean, we ended up playing every champion in the West of the four conferences. Uh, I'm hoping that we avoid that kind of, you know, road to, to, to Santa Barbara. Uh, we would prefer something where maybe we play something at home and then go somewhere else in the country and play people we haven't seen before. And you think your team is ready with the focus and everything to, uh, to make that run and, and do what you guys set out to do, and that's to be here for the College Cup? Yeah, you know, what's interesting is if there's ever a team that's very resilient, if there's a team that's had to battle back, we've, we've been behind in probably half of our games. Uh, we struggled through a period of time in our season early on where things weren't working. Uh, we've gone through all those things, and we have found ways to win games and stayed after. I thought the Cal Poly game was, was a huge game for us because, you know, you're down 1-0 with 17, 18 minutes left and then found the way to tie that game up and get the goal in overtime. And, you know, that was, again, that, that to me are the kind of characteristics you need to have a team. Uh, you need to have a great goalkeeper. You need to have goal scoring. Uh, and we have, I think, both of those. And uh, now we need to go take this team and, and, you know, get it done. All right. Congratulations, Tim Vomstig, on your Big West Championship and good luck in the NCAA tournament. Appreciate it. Thank you very much.